Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Weird Assassin video. Today's video is another special tutorial for you all, requested by an awesome subscriber of mine called Marlon. Marlon put me up to the task of building Dustin's house from Stranger Things. Now a lot of content creators have already done this one and they've done a superb job of it. I'll put a few of my favourite ones down in the comments down below, in the, in the description down below even, for you guys to go and check them out as well and hopefully build their versions too. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to an awesome subscriber called Kawaii Cookie as well for also showing a lot of support on my Stranger Things tutorials and things like that. I really am glad you enjoy them. They are very, very hard to make some of them and I'm super glad that you guys actually enjoy these. So a big shout out to Kawaii Cookie and many of you guys as well for, for watching these. Without further ado, let's give you a quick tour before we jump into, into the tutorial. So of course under this kind of garage area, we have a little shed over on the right hand side with a couple of dustbins outside. Ha, dustbin for Dustin. Ah, you get it? It's a good joke. It sucks that. Yeah, what am I saying? Uh, anyway, we have a little shed over here. A couple of chests just to represent sort of some storage stuff. You know, maybe maybe Dustin keeps his trike in there. You know, his uh, his bike even. His trike? I don't think he's that young. His, his bicycle in there. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we come up to the porch on these uh, the stairs over here. We have a lovely bench looking out the front. And then we have this American flag just kind of being all patriotic, blowing in the wind. Then we have a little... Uh, plant down here just to represent a little bit of uh, foliage on the on the porch now when we come inside the build of course you'll notice there is nothing in here at the moment and the reason I didn't actually furnish this thing as well is because honestly there's not actually that many pictures of the inside of Dustin's house there is of course the season in the show so I might go out and have to rewatch the show and then hopefully build you guys an interior to this as well so definitely stay tuned for that one that'll be a pretty cool task uh, on the exterior on the exterior of this on the outside even at the back is not that much detail either but we have got this cool looking roof design that makes it look like a cabin in the wood sort of feel and of course the spruce trees on the on the, the right of the build there definitely help with that effect so anyway guys i know you wanted to get straight straight into the tutorial so let's go ahead and uh, go and do it so now then, guys so we're going to take this a step at a time so we don't get confused ourselves if you do need to pause the video at any point because you do get stuck or anything definitely feel free to do so it is no problem whatsoever so we're going to take a massive gap just besides the next house. Uh, now there's not much space between uh, this Remembrance Garden I made over here, um, but there is enough space for, for this build. So it does go 24 blocks along the kind of front section over here, and then it does go back by, well, along the side by 21 blocks. So it is quite a big build, over about 40 blocks in kind of diameter, but, you know, it'll be cool. It'll be good, good to build it. We're actually going to start kind of back here for the sort of square area of the build. If we If we do go a little bit kind of not really in line with this one it doesn't matter too much so let's go ahead and grab our brick block first of all we're gonna go to around here and we're gonna take ourselves one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four twenty four blocks like that so it's gonna be a very big sort of house section but then again if you think about it when it's furnished there's gonna be a lot of rooms on the interior so we definitely need to keep that sort of design flowing so 24 blocks for the kind of front porch area and then obviously we're gonna have the steps and then the, the front door just going in there so now we have that laid out we can go around to the side and we can take our brick block just two more blocks back so we can actually have the porch and then we're gonna use jungle for the actual house now we've already got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty one blocks in uh, in total but we need to make sure obviously after the three brick blocks at the front we start with our jungle for the actual house now what you can do as you can see here the actual house there uh, kind of sticks out a little bit from the rest of the porch so what we're going to do is we got we've already got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve then we're going to switch to our brick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve just to match up to 24 blocks in total for the back as well as the front so now it is all the same length now we can actually go ahead and fill in the square with our jungle planks don't worry about making the the bricks the the three lots of bricks there this side we're gonna to have to probably change some of these bricks up to jungle but it's a good marker um, at this time so now we have this now entire you... square which is always good because then we can actually start to mark out where everything is going to go and things we can actually come down here and mark out our porch area now this needs to be 14 blocks in length up until we get to a wall over here which is going to kind of separate the garage um, from the rest of the house so we need to go along 
and mark this out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 13, 14. Now on this 14th one, we can actually just stick some jungle in there. Which we're going to put some planks in there, my bad. And then we can stick jungle on top of this brick one. And then going back by about three blocks for now, we can always change that up if we need to later on. And now this is where the rest of the house is going to be. So this is kind of where the wall is going to come out. Whereas this side is literally just a porch. So we can actually go ahead and fill in these two kind of planked areas for the uh, the porch section. As long as it's in line with this brick block at the end, we'll be good to go. So all that filled up with jungle. All those uh, 13 blocks long jungle. Pretty good stuff. Then we can go ahead, grab our brick stairs. And we can go one, two, three. Just to the left of where we made this wall sticking out from the the brick there to mark out the rest of the house then we can take our nether brick fence we can go one there one there one on top oops one in front as well but one on top now we're going to take our stone and we're going to mark out where this patio and garage kind of flooring should go so what we're going to do is we're going to come the two kind of blocks in front of our staircase and we're going to just block these out like this so we have like a six block shape with our with our stone there so we're going to next take our block and we're going to go and make sure these go up to about 11 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 just like so so you, you should be left with three blocks on the end like so then we're going to go ahead and just fill in this little gap over here making sure this is filled up with stone as well using the 11 as your marker next we're going to do a kind of different sort of shape so we're going to go from this block instead of these blocks over here because it's now been left and we're going to fill this up to where we made that 11 just a line before then we're going to do that again and we're going to do this for kind of five no seven times even seven blocks so one two three four five six seven eight so eight like that and we're going to do this for seven like i said so uh one two three four five six and seven and then you can just fill in this entire space, this nice little square with your with your stone in this space just here. And this is where the uh, you know Dustin's mum parks his her car. Maybe I'll build Dustin's car as well. That'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just jump up here. There we go. Fill in this space over here, and we're not done just yet. What we need to do next is we need to go out by another couple blocks. We need to go along by five. But this actually goes a lot, well, kind of this way by 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we can do this by 5. So 2, 3, 4, 5. It's best to kind of mark it out like this because then you can just go ahead and fill it all in at the same time once you've destroyed the grass instead of doing it like, you know, one by one because it takes so long. That is where World Edit is very helpful. <laughs> Definitely when you're building like roads and things especially. If anyone is actually building the entire Hawkins, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear that. And if you need any special tutorials, let me know as well because I'm happy to help. Alright guys, that is kind of the, the road section complete for Dustin's house. Let's go ahead and move on to the actual house once again and the shed. Right, guys, so I've grabbed a couple extra materials. We're going to need a spruce door. We're also going to need an iron trap door and a cauldron as well. Oh, well, two cauldrons and two trap doors and only one spruce door. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to take our brick block again. We're going to go from this point kind of diagonal from these uh, these 10 blocks here of uh, stone and we're going to build this up by four so one that's two three and four and then we're going to grab our jungle and we're going to go up four as well just kind of to the left of this brick block then we're going to go around the corner by two as well up by four and then behind where we built this brick kind of tower we're going to go and stretch this all the way along to the side of the house then we're going to replace this brick block with a jungle plank as well now we can actually build this along up to this point and just kind of leave it there for a second and go up by four blocks making sure we match up with this brick tower over on the left there we have it now then over here what we can do is actually go to this section over here just next to this brick block where the house is and we can connect this along leaving a one block one gap just there and then we can take our stone and kind of mark out where we want this kind of shed area to be now you don't have to use this entire space if you don't want to i did actually kind of fill a two two or three blocks in because um, obviously it's going to be full up with chests anyway so you're not really going to see too much of the inside of this so however you guys want to make it you can as long as it doesn't go into the house then your shed will be look pretty cool so now we have that we can actually go ahead and fill this up to four blocks high as well 
and then we can also do the same with these two blocks over here making sure these are all kind of four blocks in height go along drop down make two there so it's only like a two-way gap for the doorway stick your spruce door in there uh, and then we're going to leave that just empty for now but obviously fill up these to make them whole walls as well now once you've done that you can actually come to the front of your door and to the right of your door you can put two cauldrons and then two iron trap doors for the dustbins awesome that is looking great guys let's go ahead and build the actual garage roof now and everything all right then guys so the first thing we need to do with our garage is we're going to grab our stone and we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oops sorry i missed a block at this point this would be 11 blocks like that so it's kind of covering up the the garage over here for the top of the roof then we're going to go to this space here and we're going to build some windows so we're going to grab ourselves a few extra materials like the glass panes which we just replaced with our never brick fence we're going to grab a quartz, uh, quartz block even not a squartz block don't know what a squartz block is uh, a jungle fence and some jungle wood slabs then we're going to take our jungle planks and we're going to go along by three from this point over here from this point we're going to go up by two then the other end we're going to go up by two then we're going to go along by two to kind of connect these pillars up fill in the glass panes like that then we're going to come to this open space over here and do a four by three shape with our glass panes so we, here we go and then up another layer and then up a third layer like that then we're going to take our jungle wood planks and we're going to fill this all the way along to this point just here now we've done that what we can do is go ahead and grab ourselves our stone and we can go ahead and uh, sorry my bad knock that block through a second and then we're going to drag this all the way along to this section up here so it's in line with the shed kind of area over here then we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to go ahead and place some jungle uh, jungle slabs and we're going to go one, two, three, four and then we're going to place a block of jungle just there then another four slabs that's three and then a block just there and that should be the same length as the stone if it's not, don't worry, you can always pause the video and go back and have another look in a second what we're going to do next guys is we're going to take our stone and we're going to drag this along to the opposite side where the shed kind of connects up and meets up with the section just there then we're going to take another row and connect this up as well don't worry about filling in this shape as well you can literally just fill it over now making sure you have a nice sort of finished look oh before i forget as well guys if you wanted to add some materials in here so like chests arm stands whatever you guys want to make the shed look a bit cluttered feel free to do so i might forget so that's why i'm going to remind you guys now just in case <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and grab our stone again we're going to leave a two block gap just up the front here and then we're going to drag a, a line of stone just along there like that then we're going to leave another two a gap and we're going to grab our stone and drag it along like that then we're going to actually fill in these two like this four shape up here with stone this four shape with stone and this four shape with stone awesome next thing we're going to do is drop down into the build we're going to grab our quartz slab and we're going to go one two three four five six seven and then we're going to do that by two blocks so it connects up to the stone and the planks on either side now on the stone that's exposed on the interior we're going to go ahead and slab this up then we're going to do the similar design over here with the seven by two whoops in the build like that and again then we're going to drop down obviously on the stone do the same design and then of course we're going to do the seven again and then drop down and put one just there now for this section here we can literally just grab our jungle slabs and go along to connect up to this block over here then we're going to grab our jungle fence and go down by three blocks to the, to the ground kind of holding up the, the garage here like so ah oh, nice one guys so the garage is pretty much complete now that was probably one of my my trickiest bits of the tutorial like when i was trying to build this and plan it out it did take a while to just build that section before i forget as well what we need to do next is literally just grab our quartz slab and we're literally just going to go around kind of the the bottom of the stone and fill it all the way around this rectangle for the for the garage here so you want to make sure this is in line with this block of the stair just here and then same with the other side to connect up to the front awesome that is ready for completion we can go ahead and build the actual house all right now. then guys so once again we're going to mark out our roof because the roofs are easiest to do and then we can kind of fill in the rest of the bits and pieces afterwards so we're going to take our quartz slab once again 
drag it along the front of the house and overhang the house just by one block over here. Then we're going to go along and we're just going to go along by, I think it might be just a block like that. So there's like two. Let me just quickly have a look back. There we go. Yeah, there's just one block there. And then we actually do this kind of weird stair pan. What we do here is we stick a backward stair like that for now. And then we stick a stair kind of facing upwards like that. Then a backward stair behind it. Then a front stair like that. And then a backward stair again. Then we take our quartz slabs again. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we do basically the opposite of the stair pan. So backward stair first. Then a front stair. Backward stair once again. Then a front stair. Then we go out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like so. so it should overhang the building just by one block like that. Now over here, what we need to do is actually just go one block out, then we need to do the stair pattern over here. So like this, one forward stair, one backward stair, forward, backward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with our quartz slabs. Then the stair pattern on the way down, which is backwards first. Ah oh, no, my bad. Sorry everybody, I'm not very great with stairs. There we go. Forward stair, backwards, that's not backwards, backwards stair forward stair there we go and then we can go one two three uh three blocks two blocks even two blocks because as you can see over here and this kind of where the porch goes so that we actually marked out the porch already well kind of the porch already which is pretty good then we can go in a block again in a few blocks okay so from this point here we can actually go along by 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve on the twelfth one we go well, sorry, another block just there to kind of match up with this this uh, brick just here. Then we can go one, two, and three blocks. So it marks up basically in line with that other quartz slab over there. And there we have it. That is kind of the roof laid out for now. Obviously, we need to go ahead and fill in the uh, the stone now. So let's go. Now ahead. then, guys, this roof is a little bit confusing. So if you do need to pause the video, like I said, feel free to do so. It does get a little bit tricky over towards this section. The first thing you need to do is grab your stone and we're going to go ahead and fill in this space over here with stone up until we reach the stone for the garage section. Then we're going to place one block of stone just there, then a block just there for the, on this step, and then a block just there for that step as well. Then we're going to do the same over here, so that one there and that one there. Then we can actually go ahead and just bring our stone stairs all the way along the front of this section here. Now in this little space we have left, we can actually go ahead and fill this in with jungle planks, like so. Then we can go to the back of the build and start doing the back. This gets a little bit confusing as well. So stairs all the way along here, curve around this corner, and go up to this shape, just up here, to up to this quartz block. Then we're going to do a similar thing over here, but what we're going to do first is just add our stone blocks in like we did just down there on the actual quartz steps. Same over this side. So we can take our stone stairs and go along to this block, not curving it around, along to this block just here. Then we can go ahead and grab a, uh, we're gonna need a slab, a stone slab. And we can replace this for now with our quartz slab, like so. So now then guys, over on this block over here, next to the quartz that we made a minute ago and this, this block, we're going to go ahead and put three lots of stairs going out of that block just there. Then we're going to curve these stairs around the corner. Then we're going to fill in this little gap with our slabs. We're going to do a similar thing over here. So we're going to actually put the slabs on first in this little space. Then we're going to go ahead and put the stairs on the back. Now it gets a little bit com confusing because you do have to break a few blocks. So we're going to stick the kind of stairs in there. Then we can actually go ahead and curve these stairs around this corner and bring it up and it should line up nicely over that that kind of block there we're going to take another layer of stairs and we're going to go ahead round the corner once again uh, I think there's another slab on here so we need to just leave that one a second bring this one three and then four then we can stick another layer of slabs on another layer of slabs on and then bring our stairs round to match up around the corner. It is a little bit tricky, as I said, because of the uh, the slabs in there. Like the slabs are, are not nice things to play with in uh, in Minecraft because they just like to mess about. <laughs> but 
But there we go, it looks cool. So you literally should have like two layered slab sections. Then in this space over here, what we're going to do is kind of slab up this, the rest of this a little bit. Until you get to the back of the build, I'm going to leave it for now. Just to there. The last thing you can do is obviously fill in the quartz on the bottom. So you can take your quartz stairs. We might need to get the slabs back in a second. One quartz stair there, one quartz stair there, one there, one the opposite side, one there and one there. Then we'll go ahead and grab our quartz slab back. Any type of quartz slab, you don't have to get the smooth one. Stick one there, one there, one there, and one just there. Oh, that's amazing. That is such a relief to get that done because that was probably the hardest part of, for the, of the build for me. And teaching you guys how to do it was, was pretty hard as well. I uh, hope that is not too bad for you. Alright then guys, so now we have this shape just here. What we need to do is take our slab, our stone slab, which we're going to grab again. Lock it just there. And we're going to fill up the rest of the build with our stone slab. Fill in the entire roof section now. It does take a little bit of time, but it does look pretty cool when it's done. Just fill in this entire square. So this square section we've just got here, we need to fill this entire section in. We can just stick another kind of two slabs just there. We can actually make this into a block if we wanted to. Just there behind where this overhanging roof is. So, so now yeah. for the last finishing touches on the roof, what we're going to do is we're going to go one block in line with this kind of fence that we made earlier. And we're going to go make sure this goes in by about three blocks. So just about there. Take this out, put a two slabs in. Well, three slabs in if you wanted to make this obviously a block shape, but you could just stick a block on top of the slab if you wanted to as well. That would be way easier. I like to be a little bit tricky. <laughs> then we're going to go along by four blocks after that slab, so make this a five block shape. Along, up by, well, it needs to go up by four, but we're going to make ours obviously three because we have that slab already in there. So take out this entire section of slabs. Put some slabs in for your chimney. just like this and then we're going to go ahead and put some upside down stairs stone brick stairs in like this in this shape like that then flower pots in the rest of the shape and then we finish the chimney it's a proper log cabin sort of chimney which looks cool so yeah let's go on to the the actual you know the floor and the actual walls of the build it would not be a house without four walls <laughs> let's go ahead and do that right, guys so i've cleared my inventory down of just the brick block the jungle wood planks the glass pane the nether brick fence, the brick stairs, and the jungle doors. What we're going to do is come to this block just here, this first jungle plank next to these brick blocks, and we're going to go up by three, connect up to the roof, like so. Then we're going to go back by three. Well, three after this one block, and then that is a good shape for our roof. Then we're going to go ahead and fill this section in with jungle planks now. And this is kind of our back porch. Put another two bricks on this side as well, just to make the porch kind of outline as well. Like that. Then we need to leave a, I think it might be a two block gap. Let me just quickly go and check this. Yeah, two block gap. I assume so. For the the next doors, leaving a two block gap, of course. For the back doors. Jungle doors in like that, making sure the handles are kind of facing each other. Then we're going to go ahead and fill this along with our jungle planks. Now I'm not certain if the windows are in the right places on this build apart from the overhanging section of this build because these windows are correct and so are the ones at the front but are the other ones I am not certain whereabouts they should go so I just kind of dotted them around and then hope for the best so fingers crossed they are you know alright but uh, if you guys need to change these up for actual kind of authentic rooms and stuff feel free to do so it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and fill this along connect this section up to the roof as well this kind of side block connect that one up as well connect this one up then we'll go ahead and kind of put some windows in here as well because we need to make sure we have kind of two kind of windows just in there and the windows are actually two blocks in from the build so we have like one one kind of pillar block for the out exterior then another two then we can stick some windows in here so one there and then another one just in there make sure this entire section is filled in so we don't have any gaps for like wind to get in put some glass panes in here so recapping three away from the exterior two way gap in between the windows and three away from the exterior 
like so. And these are literally just two blocks up from the, the floor. So that does so sense. from the front porch area, so this section just in here, we're going to go along by four blocks. Then we're going to build this straight up to the roof, connecting this up to the roof section. Then we're going to go ahead and put a couple blocks across the top. So all the way across the top, connecting up to, well, this side. It's actually pretty good, just there. Then we fill this up to make this an actual wall. Nice one. Then we can go ahead and stick a couple windows in. So just one in here. So two blocks at the bottom. Fill this up to the roof. Two glass panes. One block just there. One block just there. I'm going to stick another two glass panes in here. Like that. Then another two glass panes for kind of the last window at the front. And then of course the front door itself. So we need just a one by one gap for this, this door. Like that and like that and there we go it should line up with the middle step at the front perfecto awesome let's go ahead and do the size of the house so before we actually crack on with the walls of this house we need to just take our jungle our birchwood planks even and fill in this entire flooring space making sure you get every single block covered in the birch so that dustin and his mum actually have somewhere to stand okay then so once you've done that you should have it looking like this so kind of filled up on this side as well as this side over here then we're going to go ahead and take our jungle planks and we're going to go ahead and build up this far wall over here first of all. So the thing we need to do is we need to come into this section just here and we're going to build two windows, three windows even, like that side has over there. So over here we're going to start and go along by six, so two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to build these up straight to the roof, make sure these go straight up to the roof and connect up to the stone at the top there. Then we can bring our planks and go all the way along to the other side and basically do the same. Just like so. And now this is where we start the windows. So there's going to be one window just in here. Only a two block high window. Then another one leaving a one by one gap in between them. And then a third one just over here as well. Then we can fill the rest of this section in and put in our glass panes. And there we go. That side of the house is complete. Let's go around to the opposite side and fill the section up as well. So here what we need to do is go six back again, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Build the straight up to the roof as we did before, like so. Then we can start to put the windows in. There is actually quite a few windows in this section. So there's one just in here, one kind of two up like that, like before. Then we leave a one by one gap and we put two in again, like another similar window. Then we leave a three gap like this in between the windows. So you should have this sort of shape first of all. Then we're going to stick another two windows in this side over here. Going up and over the top with your planks to fill it up. Down and then make sure these are two and then glass panes just in the rest of it like so. So the last finishing touches on the interior what you can do is just hide these sort of stone bricks coming through the, uh, the building. So you can just literally cover them up with planks. Anytime you see some, you just want to fill it up with planks. So here, maybe just here as well. And then obviously just build this across like that. So make it like bulky. Anywhere you guys want, you don't want to have stone. You can literally just fill it around with your planks. And it still looks great as a roof, you know, kind of folds over. And on the roof, you can actually just fill this over as well if you wanted to. I'm going to leave mine empty because I kind of like it. But here, what I'm going to do is take some junk wood stairs go like that upside down upside down upside down below it as well just here to kind of make it flow in a little bit better and then on the roof as well cool beans and then we can obviously just connect these up to make it kind of one little shape in there as well there we go let's go onto the front porch and then we finish the actual build. So this front porch what we need to do is we need to first of all grab our nether brick fence our brick stairs our fern a flower pot birch wood stairs, birch wood signs, and a white banner, where well, this is actually supposed to represent the American flag as well, because uh, Dustin and his mum have a kind of an American flag dangling from above the seat up here, just on this, these two here. I'll show you how to make this in a second as well. So let's take our birch wood stairs, let's go one, two, three, just in between these three windows like that. Then we're going to stick signs on either side, not in front, my bad, <laughs> either side like that, and one this side of two. Then we're going to go near towards the door but leaving a one by one gap between the bench and we're going to stick our fern in a flower pot like that. 
Now let's quickly pop around the back and just add in the kind of porch area on the back. So one, one, lots of uh, fence, one down, one down, one up on top of that. And then we're going to go come in front and do the same. Now here we can actually just cut into the brick and just make two stairs like that. You could also add the bench and a little flower pot on this side if you wanted to as well. I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the, ha the back of the house looks like, so you guys can do whatever you guys want as well to, um, to make it your own. Let's go ahead and build this. So you're going to need yourself a loom, you're going to need a white banner, you're going to need a stack of white dye, a stack of blue dye and a stack of red dye, but you can just use the one if you do need to as well, like in creative. I think it just gives you the one, but it kind of works out as a stack as well. Look at this. Bit weird, but never mind. So place your loom, go up to the loom, stick your banner in first of all. Then we're going to grab ourselves our red dye because obviously the banner is already white. So technically we don't need to use this, but it's in case we make any mistakes. Then we're going to go ahead and click this button just here. And this makes it a nice striped color, like a, almost like a barbershop. So we're going to take that and put it back in the loom. Take out our red dye, take our blue dye, stick that in. Then we're going to click this top left square up here. And then we have it, American flag, flying patriotic. And we can stick this just above the bench, just like that. Cool beans. Well, that is how to build Dustin's house, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please definitely smash a big like. That'd be awesome. If you want to consider subscribing for more Stranger Things builds and other tutorials on this massive world that I have, please definitely consider subscribing. That'd be wicked. It'd be great to have you as part of the Assassin Brother and Sisterhood. Have an excellent day, guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Goodbye for now. Have a great day.